there's all kinds of different valves and all kinds of different ways of doing this and all kinds of different products and manufacturers. We have found that these, these prayer ball valves, they're a union ball valve, uh, they're inexpensive, they're easy to work on, and they're really very functional. Uh, they're, they actually give you an additional pin. That pin helps hold the inner piece together and there's an extra one provided on each valve per chance that that breaks or you lose it when you go to take the valve apart. So those are certainly a must. The other thing that's worth mentioning is because we are in the north and we have to close the pool for winter, most people stay away from the in-floor cleaning system because there's really no easy way to blow the in-floor jets out and cap them off. So what we've done is we've built a manifold where we can valve each line separately. And when it comes time to winter, when, you've, when you're running your air through the skimmer and you're blowing all the lines out, as long as the guts of this thing are out, close all of those valves except for one until you're getting air, air lock it off, open another one, air lock it off, and you can close this thing almost as quick as closing anything else. It's, it's virtually treating it like a main drain. When you blow the air through the main drain and then you air lock it, that's all we're doing for all of these lines. And the net result is we have no trouble with it. But being able to do this, a lot of the systems, the systems made out there don't have valves like this. They have little plugs to try to plug in the inside and there's really no way of airlocking it. But by simply building a manifold using a dozen 45s, we're able to separate it all out and put a valve on each one and it solves the problem. We've had no issues.